Little Known Facts of the U.S. Constitution. Section 4 of the 25th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution has never been invoked, and there are a lot of details in it. But the first part of this section states, quote, whenever the vice president and a majority of either the principal officers of the executive departments or of such other body as Congress may by law provide, transmit to the president pro tempore of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the vice president shall immediately assume the powers and duties of the office as acting president." Unquote. So what this allows for is if the president were to suddenly go into a coma, or if there was an assassination attempt and he was uh, unable to regain consciousness and he's in surgery, uh, the, pre the vice president of the United States and a majority of the cabinet members, and currently there are 15 of them, if they sign a letter and send it to the president pro tempore of the Senate and the Speaker of the House, that the president is unable to do their duty, the vice president immediately becomes president of the United States. Also, if they believe that the president's gone crazy or something of that nature, if the majority of the cabinet and the vice president determine that they're not able to do their job, they can send letters to Congress and the vice president becomes acting president. Now, it is also possible for Congress to create a law that creates some other body to do this. Like, let's say a number of senators and representatives would form a group that would determine the ability of the president uh, to do their job or not. This law has never been made. So currently, this can only happen if the vice president and a majority of the cabinet members would determine that the president is unable to perform their duties.